Ronaldo is finally poised to make his first appearance of the season this weekend following a leg injury. The AC Milan striker is fit and in full training again after picking up a thigh problem in late July. A series of complications saw the postponement of the Brazilian star's return to action as the Rossoneri failed to get their Serie A campaign off to a positive start. However, the 31-year-old is available and raring to go for the game day 13 encounter at Cagliari. And coach Carlo Ancelotti could pair the former Inter and Real Madrid frontman with Filippo Inzaghi in attack. The 34-year-old Inzaghi has made only three starts so far and has yet to score in the league this season. But the veteran believes it is just a matter of time before he is back on the score sheet. Even if Inzaghi fails to find the back of the net, the Sardinians were certainly Ronaldo's lucky team last season when he scored a brace in a 3-1 win. Francesco Totti has received another setback in his recovery from injury. The S Roma striker kicked the ground when practicing free kicks at the club's Trigoria training complex ahead of this weekend's Serie A trip to Genoa and reported a sharp pain in his heel. The 31-year-old has been out of action since sustaining an ankle injury in the October 23rd Champions League clash against Sporting Lisbon. The talismanic captain has been frustrated to see his return date pushed back and missed out on key games against Lazio, AC Milan and the Champions League away trip to Lisbon. Just as Totti's ankle seemed to have recovered, he was hit by a bout of bronchitis to compound his recent woes. The Gialarossi go into a crucial period of the campaign, hoping to recover winger Rodrigo Tadai from a long-term calf problem. However, coach Luciano Spalletti will not be able to call upon midfielder Simone Perotta, who sustained a recurrence of an old muscle injury when on international duty with Italy where Brazil internationals Alexander Doni and Juan have only just arrived back in the capital following two South American 2010 World Cup qualifiers. Palermo travelled to Juventus this weekend looking to maintain their six-game unbeaten run. The Sicilian side drew five games in a row before defeating Napoli 2-1 in a thrilling Game Day 12 encounter at the Renzo Barbera Stadium. The confidence gained from winning the Derby del Sol has clearly rubbed off on striker and Maori, who is relishing the chance to take on the old lady. The Brazilian insisted that a trip north to Turin held no fears for the Southern club, and he personally will be out to make a name for himself by finding the back of the net. The 27-year-old has been in excellent form since returning from an extended period on the sidelines, following a knee operation at the start of last season scoring five goals in 11 league outings. Coach Stefano Colantuano will need his front men in top form as history favours the home side. The Bianconeri won both of the matches the last time the sides were in the top flight back in 2005-2006 by a 2-1 scoreline on both occasions. Just as his career was taking off again, Vincenzo Montella has been hit by a knee injury, which looks likely to sideline him for up to two months. The Sampdoria striker will undergo surgery tomorrow morning to his left knee to correct an ongoing problem, although he has made 10 Serie A appearances so far this season, scoring three goals along the way. The 33-year-old had returned to his former club on loan from AS Roma in the hope of relaunching his career after a spell with English Premier League side Fulham. The veteran's absence, along with that of another injury victim, Antonio Cassano, will see Andrea Caracciolo handed the role of lone striker, with Claudia Bellucci offering support. Mm -hmm.